innovation is the highest priority. You have to have a reason to make a new piece. Look to a product from another angle or give something to the design profession or innovate material level or innovate on expression. Art was for me too free to, it was, yeah, I really liked the borders of design. But when I applied school, I never looked in a design book or whatever. So I was, I came from very far end of the world to this academy. I just applied because I thought it is a kind of art within boundaries. Most of the time my hands are involved. Of course, I first have to know where am I, what is uh, the market doing, uh, what kind of company are we talking about, because there is a certain knowledge here that uh, is not in the head and it's not in the computer. I have to work with my hands, building models, cutting things, uh, I don't know, and it all looks very chaotic, And but my assistants know what to do with it. They read my language, but something coming out of the hands and that's more intelligent than what's coming out of my head. Three years ago or something, everything went very well. I had a beautiful studio in Holland and a very good team. It became so perfect that I thought I really would like to move and to be a beginner again, because in the be if you are beginning, your eyes are sharp, your intuition, my intuition is on awake. Berlin is a creative city, kind of relaxed, slow down, green city, unfinished. Now that I'm alone again, I, am, I have the luxury to study again and research and to go to the death and get lost in my profession and ask questions again. What is design? Where are we heading for? What, what, do, what do we miss in the industry? Yeah, the book is called Misfit and also the exhibition is called Misfit. We hang everything on the wall. And it is, uh, there's no hier hierarchy and um, the idea is we uh, arrange it on color. There's no order because color is just a subject to order it, but it's, it's, it has no meaning. That's why we hang everything on the wall. The function of looking is the most important part of going to a museum. I'm searching for the hand of the maker and um, of course a craftsman will always make something very perfect. That's also the goal of a craftsman. But uh, you can't make it exactly the same as the one before. That's also the beauty of it. The, the, the traces of the maker and the traces of the, the pouring process and the, the individuality, the character, the, the imagination of somebody behind this I call misfit. I also would like to be seduced by my own research. So if something comes out, I follow. And designing my, the routes that I have to follow. Can you, can you tell somebody why you love the things you do? I'm still curious every day again and, 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 and each time when sometimes I'm, I'm again an amateur in, in certain subjects and then I start to be yeah, curious. Where are we heading for and what do we miss? <laughs>